Wix website to create portfolio pages. So pages that have one template applied to multiple pages so that you can kind of copy the design and reuse it and using a specific set of data. So I'm already inside of my Wix editor and on the left hand side you'll see a content manager tab. This takes a minute to create pages. It's creating two pages. It's creating a collection to show you all of the data sets on one page and then it breaks out each individual data set within. So going to automatically create those pages and open up the data set. So this is the set of data that it gives you. It gives you a template to start with and what I want to do is replace. I'm going to use each of these as my category for the new set of data. This one is built in entertainment centers and as you can see I can type right here and change these data sets right here within the grid or I can open it. Um, one thing I don't need right now, and I can always come back and add more information, but I don't need all these extra fields for information because I really just want to display the images. That's going to be really what people want to come here to see anyways. So I can go ahead and outline all of my categories first. are pretty similar built-in shelving units and you guys might be asking what is the difference in all of these well they are a little bit different and you will be able to tell when I add the images I think this is more of a visual situation but I'm looking for keywords for Google to be able to find them and then on each one of these pages I will add a lot more keywords so that these pages can be indexed on Google you need to add more just click add item at the bottom okay and that's all I got so like I said you can either click within the grid here to update and manage files or you can just open it up and go ahead and edit everything so first thing I need to do is clear these out and add some images I'll replace all of this copy and that our images. The best thing you can do for your website is organize the folder. So first it's going to ask me what images do I want to add to this gallery. So click images and then it will open up my site files. And we're doing built-ins. So I have a category for built-ins right here. Now within this I need to organize a little better and that is the whole point of why I'm doing this. So the first one was built-in entertainment centers. So I'm looking for anything um, that we've done before that could look like an entertainment center. Some of these were, I think of like it having a TV or something. So I would not include that in this group if it were like a dining room built in. I kind of want that to rank for its own set of keywords. I also have another set that's going to have fireplaces. So I'm going to skip right over those as well. Anything that has a fireplace, I'll include in that set of information but I do have quite a few entertainment centers already. And so I can just go ahead and select all the ones that are just entertainment centers and don't include a fireplace. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and select a couple of these just to move on. So now I have a few images selected here. Notice on the right hand side, you have the ability to add titles and descriptions. These are really important for Google search ranking. So we're gonna say built in enter entertainment center um, or bonus room. So if somebody's like searching for inspiration for an entertainment center or a built-in in a bonus room, this image should essentially rank on Google Images. We'll also share this on Pinterest because that's of course is where people go um, to find inspiration. So below that in the description you can add a lot more information. Um, something, you know, this is where it should be a little bit more salesy probably. So the first one, keep it really short and sweet. Um, using the keywords that are important and make sense to that image. And then below you can type something more salesy as a description. So um, custom built entertainment center with plenty of storage. 
for your bonus room toys, collections, movies, and more. So we're adding in more keywords like, well, where could I store? What could I do to store my toys, collections, movies, things like that? Um, I'm doing this on the fly. I probably would have done a lot better if I wasn't recording. But anyway, you get the idea. So rinse and repeat. Do that for all your images. Once you've got them all loaded, you can click Done. And then you're going to select the main image that you want to be uh, the main project image for that collection. And then down here is where you're going to type in something about built-in entertainment centers in general. So again, uh, think of your SEO and keywords here. So built-in entertainment centers to hide your, uh, no, let's say, I got it. Add more storage and fun function with stylish built-in entertainment centers. Make sure you check your um, capitalization, grammar, all that good stuff. So up here with your title, I use all caps. Actually, I think I've been, want to be consistent too. If you use the hyphen for built-ins in one place, try to do that everywhere, so. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing for every single one of your categories. Now, when you close this out, give it a second to refresh, you're gonna to have to tell the page what you want it to look like. So, it's applying my standard background image, which doesn't look very good here. As you can see, I have a transparent background on the repeaters down below. So, I'm just gonna select a super clean color like white to pull it together. Now, if I would have added all of those final photos or updated them, you would see it looks something like this. And it's going to start pulling in all of the data from that data set that we had. And now you can kind of update all this information here. So again, this is going to be something about the built-ins because this is going to be the landing page for such. You can adjust. Now this page is the collection for all on the landing page. So the cool thing is now I can come over here and go to um, the individual projects and this will actually copy over on every single one of those smaller categories that you saw. So you gotta do the same thing here to make sure that all of those pages look right. Now they also give you some interesting strips that I don't need for this situation, so I'm just going to get rid of those. And I have to slide everything up, close the gaps. If it does something weird like that, to come over here to your undo for some reason. This can be a little finicky, but if they are, click your undo button and just do the best that you can. Now when you hit publish, and you want to view what all of these different categories look like. So see, I have a much prettier group of photos. And if I click next, so these are the built-in entertainment centers. Remember the other set of information I had was custom built-in shelving units. Now I have a custom gallery below here with all of those images. We did not load them yet, so it's thinking, but imagine we did. <laughs> so we fixed the, the layout of this page. Every one of these is looking the same. I need to add more text here or this message will display. Um, so yeah, we've got a little bit more work to do, but it goes much faster. Once you've got one set of page layouts, all you have to do is go back into your editor and your content manager. Now let me show you one more little trick because they did add a content manager back here in the dashboard and I think this is the easiest place. So once you've created these pages, now you've got to go back and update all of the portfolio photos as you complete new jobs. So I recommend doing this just as frequently as you need to. So if you only do four jobs a month, maybe just do this once a month. But if you're doing 10 jobs a week, do it weekly so that this doesn't take you all day. Whatever the amount is, just make sure to throttle that um, in your workflow or hire someone out to do it where you have a nice one place to share all of your portfolio photos. So what we do is we use something called Slack and um, we have Corridor team members who hop on Slack and 
check the daily messages. Um, but not only if I have somebody updating this website can pull in all of these photos, the social media team can also use those same photos for content later on. So I hope this helps. Uh, we'll get into another video with how to add additional photos. It's really super easy. Now that you've already learned how to create a gallery, all you have to do is pop in there each time, manage files, add a new image, and then save and close it.